Hello and welcome back to Income Strategies, the place where you learn the skills to make money, multiply your money, and also to manage your money. Today we are on another episode of Inter Exchange Arbitrage between Binance and KuCoin. All right, so what do we have here? We have Dexy ETH, that's D E X E slash E T H. All right, so let's see. Uh, from our signal setup, we've been told that we should, you know, buy D E X E slash E T H from Binance and send it over to KuCoin. Okay, and then we will likely make like about 2.7%, you know. Well, don't forget that all the signals we get sometimes, most times, don't even include your trading charges or trading fees. So what you need to know is that you need to do the calculations and then subtract your trading and transfer fees. Don't forget, two fees are involved. We have the transfer fees and we also have the trading fees. Okay, so and trading fees, you know, are different from one platform to another. Now in Binance, it's zero point one percent. In KuCoin, it's up to 0.3%. So time, at times, it could be 0.1%, it could be 0.2%, depending on the coin, okay? So you need to be sure of what your trading fees are, okay? So let's go ahead and just do the simulation. Um, we'll always start with the basic simulation, right? That's just doing it bare bone without considering any charges, just even to be sure what percentage we're looking at. Then we'll look at the fees and then we'll now start. And if it doesn't make any sense, we're cutting it and not even bothering our head. But if it does make sense, we'll go ahead. So let's go ahead and just try this out, you know, simulating in the basic fashion. So first of all, I'm going to um, come here. Um, what do we have to use for this? We will first of all have to go and get ETH. Okay. So if I'm using $20 as usual, right, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to increase that for now. So <laughs> let me go ahead and just, you know, simulate with this. How many would I get? Okay. I would be able to get out of $20. It won't pick up everything. Now we could also do this by convert. Now, I just maybe just so that I can clarify the air. Um, I've gotten questions from people asking me that why can't we just do convert? Now convert is always at market order. Yes, I know you can do convert at limit order, right? But most times, um, it's better. It takes up more uh, profit, right? It it mops up some of your profit away in convert. I've seen that happen again and again. So um, even though at times in spot trading, it may not pick up all the coins. Look, I see we have 19.98. It may not pick up everything. In convert, it will pick up everything, but likely give you less. So that is what I've seen. Maybe I just want to quickly show that to us, okay? So that maybe we could just check. So what do we even have here? What I noticed was that, you know, I put 100% here and I have... Now, don't forget that when it comes to the spot trading, right, it will only show you four digits. Now, of course, don't forget that it still has some extras. But even though it says 0 0.0105, there's still some extras, right? So if for any reason, just like you know how to round, round off things, anything that is beyond... Um, five maybe go to six seven or eight it will round off to the next figure but because we are simulating it will not show us all of that so let's go ahead and just check this out this is 0 0.0105 okay and it picked up 19.99 okay almost everything right so let me go ahead and just you know pick up and go to let's do eth and let's see if we put max it can give us to 20 and if we do preview conversion now do you see what i'm talking about here it's give it's taking up the whole 20 USDT, but can you see it's taking it's just giving us 0 0.01049. So I'm telling you that convert is not as good as spot trading. Let me tell you the truth. Not as good as spot trading because it will take and mop off your you know profit. But don't forget there are still 0.1% trading fees, right? So even though they say no fees here, right? It's not po it's possible that they're giving you the price without the trading fees. But it's possible also that along the line, the price will still be more expensive, <laughs> right, than when a trading fee is removed. So that's the problem I found with Convert. I just wanted to take some time out to explain this, you know, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this, okay? So let me go back and do this via spot trading. So all I just want to do is pick up the entire thing and then, because I know this is 0 0.0105, da, 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 right? So let me just copy it. And then um, go over to where we have our DXE, 
right? ATH. So um, I just want to pick this up. Let's just put in here. Okay. So we're going to have 6.91. Now take note of everything we are seeing here. Okay. So by the time I copy the 6.91, what do I get? I have 6.91 copied. So now I'm going to take that amount and go over to KuCoin. And then um, I have, I'm going to have to look for DE. X E B E X E uh, E T H. Okay, so now what I want to do is place this. D I'm selling right now, so I'm just going to put it there and paste that. Okay, so what I have, you can see what I have. It's looking like it's more than what we had earlier. So all I just have to do is copy this. Now I'm just ensure I'm just doing this based on oh everything works well, right? We come here, we're able to change. We come here, we're able to do it immediately. Don't forget that this is the basic simulation. We're still going to come back and do the more intense simulation where we now check the order book and everything. So let me just cut that and go over to ETH and then check to see even whatever profit are we getting. That's the first thing. We want to be sure that it's profit, okay? So we're selling and then we put this ETH here. Okay, so I'm seeing that with the $20, we will get 33 cents. Now this 33 cents, is this 33 cents is inclusive of our trading fees and transfer fees. So we have to check whether this is even going to be worth even going forward on or not. Okay, so we have 20.33. Uh, when I tried this a little earlier, I had 20.51. So now you can see that the opportunity has actually is actually going down. The opportunity is no longer 2.7 percent, right? So if I check this out, this looks like maybe like six. Um, I'm not sure what am I saying. Six, which kind of six? <laughs> it's not even up to. Let's check it out. Let's just be sure. Okay, so 20 times. Hmm, what's that? Uh, let's say 1.6. Something like that. You can see just like 1.65. 1.65 percent there's no even it's no longer up to 2.78 yeah you can see it's really gone down okay so let's get back into what we're doing so now what are the fees what are the fees okay let's go ahead and check this because this is the things these are the things you need to do the steps for doing your inter exchange arbitrage okay so first thing we have done the basic simulation we've seen what it's given us next up we have to see whether right we're going to be able to, you know, transfer this or withdraw this from the originating source. So let's go ahead, go back quickly to, um, we go here and go to assets, okay? And then we click on withdraw, okay? So when we click on withdraw, we'll search for DEXE, DEXE, all right? And then we'll send by crypto network, we'll check the network here. We have two networks here. We have BNB Smart Chain, BEP20, and we have Ethereum. So please don't even bother going near Ethereum because it's going to cost you $5.06. <laughs> but for um, BEP20, we have, we're looking at like $0.09 cents here. Okay, so let me just work with $0.09. Cents. So that means that you're going to have to spend $0.09 cents in sending this over. So calculate that. So now... We've seen that we can actually send by BNB Smart Chain. Can it be received into KuCoin by BNB Smart Chain? We need to find that out. So we go to deposit, okay? And then we put in DEXE, DEXE, and then we'll check to see whether, okay, so we have BSE Smart Chain, BEP20, so that's good. So, oh, I mean, now that we see that we have the same network that we can use, we're good. Because that's another very important thing. So, all we just have to do is copy that, okay? And then go over and place that when we're trying to withdraw. Now, the next thing is to calculate our trading fees and remove all of that. Don't forget what we got was 33 cents, okay? So, now let's go ahead and do all of this to see whether this would make sense. So, we have 0.33. Okay, we are going to subtract our trading and no, our transfer fee, which is 0 0.09. We are having 24 cents. Okay, then when this has happened, don't forget we are going to be doing trades two times. Okay, that means let me explain to you we are going to have to. What are you talking about? We're actually going to be doing trades four times, I think three or four times. Yes, four times because we'll have to first of all buy our ETH with USDT. So when we buy our ETH with USDT, that's 0.1%, then we're going to have to buy DEXE with ETH. That's another 0.1%, okay? Then let's even just say, hopefully, okay, that 
a cool coin doesn't take more money from us and it's the same 0.1 percent so we're talking about 0.4 percent so what is 0.4 percent okay i'm just going to come over here in fact the best thing to look at is just to say 0.6 just add it just assume that cool coin is going to take 0.2 percent from you all right so if if, if if that is happening i'm going to have to subtract 0.1 is 0. Point, um let's multiply that times um 0.6 percent okay zero point oh no that's not the thing zero point six percent of twenty dollars what am i talking about <laughs> twenty dollars times zero point six percent that's twelve cents so if i go back don't forget okay we have zero point um three three minus right zero point zero nine then we have minus 0 0.12. So that means effectively we're going to be having 12 cents. Now, does this make sense? Does this make sense? Anyway, if you're using the larger capital, remember everything remains the same. Okay? So the only thing that does, I mean, the transfer fees remain the same. There's not, not The transfer fee is not going to change based on the amount you're transferring. It's going to be the same amount. So if you're using $1,000 or you're using $200, it's the same $0.09 cents you're going to have to pay. All right? So let's take that out. But of course, what is variable is your trading fees. Okay? So am I going to go ahead with this trade? Mm -mm, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and try this out one more time just to check to see whether this is going to work okay don't forget that bare bone we were able to get 33 cents okay so let's do this one more time just to be on the safe side let's just be on the safe side of life okay so let me just go to you know eth usdt all righty so let's pick that up and see oh now it's not even picking up everything would i want to go and do this Mm, I think the reason is because ETH has risen. Yeah, it has risen. It just rose within the last few minutes. <laughs> so it's rising. So that means that we can pick up everything. Mm, would I want to go ahead with this? I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and check. Let me check convert just to be on the safe side. Let's check convert. Let's check convert. So let's just do this, Max. And let's do this. We're still, we're getting 0.014. It's the same thing we're getting, right? But am I going to get any fees? Hmm, not sure. It says zero fees. Maybe we'll go with this one and just try that out for the try, for trying out sake. So if we have 0 0.0104, before you don't forget it was 0 0.01049. Now it's 0 0.01047, okay? Mm, let me go back. Let me go back. But don't forget that we're getting at a more expensive rate. Remember, right? Remember that we're getting it at a more expensive rate. Why am I saying this? We are getting entire $20 at this price. I need to show you that. So for you to know that we're getting it more expensively, 0 0.01047, okay? We are using the entire $20, okay? Now, if I change this, to it, it picked up 19 19.98 i guess no 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 was that nine let's go back sorry about that let's go back and check it picked up 19.83 so if i go back now 19.83 is still giving me 0 0.0104 let's go back and check um 19.83 okay we're gonna go back and check 19.83 19.83 so now let's now preview this and see. Can you see what I'm saying here? It's giving us 0 0.01039. I'm telling you that it's convert. It's cheating. <laughs> it is serious cheating. So don't go there. All right? Because even though it's, it's, it's telling you that it's free, it's telling you there are no fees. Nah, I don't believe that. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go back to my spot trading gently. And see, whatever it picks up, I work with that. Whatever it picks up, I work with that. Okay? So let's go ahead. It's giving me 0 0.0104. I'm taking on that. Okay? So that means our starting point is 19.83. Take note of that. So you now go with this. Cut this right. And then you go to Dexy. Is it Dexy or Dex? Whatever it is. 
So you buy this, okay? You buy this. Uh, what do we get? 6.95, okay? So I cut that. So don't forget my nine cents and all of that is going to be embedded in the amount I'm getting, okay? So I go over to my KuCoin and I check. I want to be sure. Am I going to be able to get this right? So now, because look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at this. Okay. So, oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be in Dexy. Let's go back to Dexy. Dexy. No, that was wrong spelling. D E X E. All right. Okay. So, the first stuff is that we need to be able to sell this. Okay. Let's sell this. Put in the Dexy here. All right. So, I get this amount and then I go over, cut. And go over to ETH. This might look like it's worth doing. I mean, just even test it out, right? Okay, so let's go here and then let's sell. Okay, and then place that in here. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so I think we should try this out. I think we should try it out. So let's get going, okay? So even if we have to do away with like, you know, um, like about um, half of this, We'll still make 1%. We'll still make 1%. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go over to our, you know, so let's go. So this is, um, so what are we starting with? We are starting with ETH, okay? Um, ETH is rising. So obviously it's not going to pick up everything. Like I told you, it's not going to pick up everything. So what do we have here? Uh, we're having 19.81. So I'm just going to click on buy ETH. It's putting me in the queue, but I don't want that. So I'm going to do this again. Let me cancel it. And then I'm going to refresh. Make sure that everything I'm going to put in the cell, the buy. And then I tap 100%. I want to make this very fast. Let's not, be, let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. Okay. I guess that's sold already. Great. So let's go ahead Okay, and buy our DEXE. Okay, DEXE. Okay, where are you? Yes, we have that. So we're going to put in 100%. Mm, what am I seeing here? It's not picking up everything again. What's going on here? Mm, it's not picking up everything. But what we got before was also 6.95. I don't know why it's not picking up everything, but anyway, we go. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's weird. In the queue. I don't want to be in the queue. I don't want to be in the queue. Okay, like I said, I don't want to be in the queue. Why? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead. And let's tap all of the things that we need to tap. Go back and then make sure that everything pick up 100%. And then you are quick to go. Let's hope that it goes. Wow. Why am I in the queue? Okay, the reason why I'm in the queue is this. Okay, I want to buy it at, how much am I buying it? I'm buying it at, okay, $14.95. All right, that's the reason why. Okay, what if I cancel and I try to buy at a higher rate? Let's do that. If I cancel and I try to buy at um, this rate, can you see this? $15.17, what will I get? $15.17, will I get the same? Hmm. Oops, you can see here that I'm getting 6.85. Can you see I'm getting 6.85? Can you see that? I'm getting 6.85. So if I can if I copy this, what will I get? Oh. Mm. It's reducing. You can see I have 0.10 off. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's going to chop off out of my profit. So it seems like we just have to wait, okay? So, because I still want to have this as complete. So, let's go ahead and let's just do it this way, okay? Let's hope that we can get this sold at this price because, um, did I say sold? Buy at this price. Um, let's see. Let's see. I can see that it just has to go down a little bit more. Once it goes down a little bit more, we'll be able to buy this, Okay. Let's go ahead and just wait, and I'll be back to give you the results. See you shortly. All right, so I'm back. And guess what? The opportunity is gone. It's gone, gone, gone. As you can see here, um, DXE, 
D-E-X-E ETH on KuCoin is now fourteen ninety eight. That's zero point zero zero one four nine eight. Okay, so what that means that there isn't any you know um, arbitrage opportunity because going back to you know Binance, as you can see here, <laughs> it's still stuck on fifteen ten. Oh, wow. So the, the truth of the matter is there really isn't any reason to continue. All we just have to do right now is just to cancel this and set a sell limit on ETH, ETH. That's all we're going to do because there really isn't any other, you know, um, there's no arbitrage opportunity. We were supposed to send buy this, right, and then send over to KuCoin. But right now, KuCoin is now lesser in price, so there's no need. So I'm just going to cancel this, Okay. Uh, let's done. Let's be done with that, and then we'll just run over to ETH USDT, and then we'll just have to do our boomerang strategy and sell back. Now we can see that we actually we're going to check. Let me check just to be sure of the amount we bought it. Um, that was our trade history. Okay, so we bought it at nineteen oh six. Okay, so we need to sell it something higher than that. So I'm just going to come here and set a sell limit okay so i'm going to set a sell limit to uh that was 1906 let's set a sell limit to 1920 okay would you ever get there i'm not sure i said set the set limit to 1915 okay so i'm just gonna put everything there and see Ooh, okay this is 1991 okay remember it picked up 19.83 so if we go ahead and do this we will definitely be making something in let me see if i put 1920 will they get there i don't know okay this would help us make something in the range of 13 cents but is this not being um adventurous okay i'll just uh i'll leave it at that i mean it's possible that he hit it. Let's look at the charts one more time and see. Well, it's it's possible for it to hit it. So if we take a good look at the last time, oh yeah, it's very possible. This is the one day, but I'm gonna go over to the one hour chart and see whether we will be able to make this. It's possible. I know it is. We have this is one nine three seven. Okay. So in the past, how many hours? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Almost one day ago, we were able to hit it at that. So that you just, we just have to go ahead and just set the sell limit, okay? So let me set the sell limit. That's, uh, let me see if I set it to 1, 9, 1, 9, 15. That's going to be profit anyway. So let me just set it to 1915 and um, it will give us 19.91. So we'll still make profit. We'll make like eight cents. Yes, eight, eight cents. So let's go ahead and just make sure that we get our money back. Okay. Well, this was supposed to be a, a an inter exchange arbitrage between Binance and KuCoin. Well, we just got stuck. <laughs> trying to get, you know, trying to buy DEXE if. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Okay. And then let's hope, keep our fingers crossed that everything will get sold quickly. Okay. Let's click on our sell. Okay. And then we wait with patience. Don't forget, patience is the key. All right. See you shortly. Wow. I'm back. And finally, we get it sold to USDT. So what do we have here? Okay. Oh, well, we made a paltry six cents. So actually it was eight cents, but you know, we have to take our trading fees and trading fees of $20 is two cents. So that's why we're having six cents. Well, at least we have our money back with a little icing on the cake. Okay. So <laughs> let's go to KuCoin and see, you know, what exactly, you know, is, oh, what's going on with KuCoin? <laughs> Let's try and check D E X E just to see. Let's see whether uh, whether this actually made sense. Okay. Oh no, it still you know gave us below. Yeah, because if we go and check D E X E in Binance, because right I'm seeing fifteen oh six. Let's check D E X E in Binance, because I still checked it and there was no opportunity anymore. It's gone. It was gone. It was gone. 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 
Okay, that's 1506 and this 1521. So what are we talking about? No opportunity anymore. The only other opportunity is to buy from KuCoin and come and sell in Binance. But even with that, it's not going to still make any sense because the difference is really so slim. Yeah. So anyway, we're done. <laughs> okay. And so what we have is we've got um, six cents here after all of that. Right. Don't forget, it didn't pick up everything. So we were working with, I think it was 19... Point eighty-seven. So we have our six cents at least to to tell us. Oh, don't be annoyed. Sorry, eh? <laughs> you can see. Thank God that we even set a sell limit to nineteen fifteen, because I'm not even sure. Let me see. Did it go to nineteen twenty? Mm, I'm not sure. I think it did. It did actually. But maybe if we had sold, if we had set it to nineteen twenty, yeah, it would have passed it. But that's fine. Uh, you see, the truth of the matter is that you don't set it to those extremes because. It's just a probability that that would happen, okay? Always choose, con you know, conservative limits that you're sure that it will hit because that's always the problem or that's the challenge with us as humans. We always want the wider. I mean, look, even right now, I'm saying, oh, I should have said it at 1920. Excuse me? What if it never hit 1920? So you sh I should be comfortable and be happy with 1915, okay? So but the thing is, it's best. You can see it's been hovering around here, right? 1918, 1917, 1916. It just shows that's the comfortable best at that point. So anytime you're setting a sell limit or you're setting a buy limit, choose one that is conservative, that you know you will surely hit the target quickly, right? And then, because you see where, it, like I always say, we don't own the market. Anything can happen. That's how it is. So the more people are dumping and buying, I mean, the more people are buying and um, selling the price dumps the more people are buying the price pumps that's just it once you understand that you'll be able to know what to do and like i always tell you anything you're doing just be conservative because you just want to make sure that you hit your target and get up all right i hope you've learned something today about being conservative and also about patience 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 is the key thank you very much i pray that each and every one of us will be profitable in all that we do in jesus name thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye